Campanetti and I have two really cool plants here. I'm going to put them together and create a very quick, no mess, tropical planter. This is a dwarf canna and this is an unusual new geranium. It's called the crocodile geranium because of the leaves that are kind of, it looks like a reptile skin. Very cool geranium. It's supposed to bloom kind of a hot pink, so all the colors in this container is going to be tropical colors. The container, by the way, is lightweight and colorful. Yes, I kind of have a sunset theme on my patio. You can follow it on Instagram or uh, look at my other YouTube videos and see how I choose really bright tropical colors for my patio. But I already have most of my planters planted up. So I'm going to be planting out here on the grass so I don't make a mess on the patio. One of my tricks of an experienced gardener, I use a wheelbarrow as a planting bench. So I have the pot in place here. I have my potting mix. And I'm going to just use a kneeling pad and kneel down right in front of the wheelbarrow. Now the first plant that I'm going to want to put in is my canna, my dwarf canna. The, usually cannas get quite tall, they need deep pots. The dwarf canna can go in a shorter pot. I already have this container um, about half full of potting soil. So I can position my canna to get it out, turn it upside down. See these roots? They keep the plant from coming out. Go ahead. It's not going to hurt the plant if you tear off these roots. They're making it stuck in here. Okay, now it should slide out easily. If it doesn't, here's a tip. You bang the side of the pot on the rim of a pot or a wheelbarrow, and then it should slide out. Now look at those roots. Get really in there tight. I'm gonna pull them apart, loosen them up. This does not hurt the canna. Cannas grow from a nice big bulb. Okay, I'm gonna plant this kind of in the back, leaning forward to you. And now the next star attraction is this crocodile fancy leaf geranium. So I'm going to take the tag of this, slide it in the front of the pot so I know where to find it, massage this upside down. That comes out quite easily, just loosen the roots a little bit, and I'll have this right in front as my spiller. There's a little bit more soil here, so what I'm going to do is make this the right height. As I plant, I could just keep adding potting soil around the plants, and you can see how my mess is being contained in the wheelbarrow. And I'm also, another tip, I'm wearing my regular clothes, getting ready to go someplace. I have a gardening apron that I throw on that has my clippers and everything in so I can do planting very quickly. Okay, I've got my thriller, the canna, I've got my spiller, the geranium, and now for my filler, I love these bi-colored petunias. This one is called Razzmatazz. Razzmatazz, what a great name for a petunia. I'm going to take this tag, slide it in the side so I'll know, turn this upside down, it slides out easily, a little bit of loosening, and that's going to go right here, kind of planted at the very same level it was growing before. This is a proven winter's plant called Diamond Snow. It's a uh, euphorbia plant, but it's an annual. Annual plants die at the, in, during the winter. You must replace them annually. But boy, they give you so much color. Whoa. This is short, so it goes very, very up front. And then finally, I finish off with another spiller from Proven Winners. This one is Caroline Raven, and it has very dark foliage. I like to take the really, really dark foliage and put it right next to the white, fluffy flower. Then we have a contrast of foliage and um, texture, a fine texture, a bold texture. And this is going to spill out looking quite tropical. Once again, I'm going to put the name of the plant on the side right here so I can find it, but bury it so I don't have to look at it. And now I'm going to go through, this is the messy part, and fill my empty containers with more potting soil and add it all around the roots of the pot so that I have all the roots covered. And when I have that done, remember this is a lightweight pot? I'm going to be able to lift the pot 
and settle the soil just like that. As a finishing touch, I will add some slow-release plant food to this container, even though there is some plant food in the potty mix, because I want these plants to grow fast, I want them to be very brilliant, and then I water everything in, and I've got a really quick and mess-free container garden. Take off my gloves, take off my apron, I'm ready to go, and my planter is ready for the patio. This is Mary Ann Bonetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens.